Hey, yo, preparing for the rainbow when it drop, it's a blow up. Yeah. H2O cloud submerged, that's a roll up. That. In the K locked and no on sight when the nest came. Uh -huh. Watching niggas spray, except for words when the nest say, Did what we had to do, full for the sensei. Uh -huh. Full body control, did whatever the sensei. Now our numbers together, shut up like the campaign. Link up with the pops, the dawn, Perry Young. Uh -huh. Yeah, heal it back at the olive tree. Yeah. Two branches of chain, like former parolees. Be shy with the word cracking the concrete. You Means an increase, that's how it should be. That's right, yeah. Blood thick in the water combined. Uh, we could build, call the Lord to heat up the border. Joshua 6 united, it's an all out slaughter. Sons of Judah and Eve for more the size of the water. On the BET Awards, right? Black Entertainment Television. This year, you had the, the, the young brother, Little Nas X, on stage, tongue kissing another man. You see, you see, and this, he, he's supposed to be from the hood. Then you have Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, talking about WAP, right? So this, this is the, the role models that our young people have to look to. Right. These young boys, now they got to look to little Nas X. When I was coming up, we had Nas, Biggie, Tupac. That's it, right? That's Brothers it. that were lyrical, right? They had some content to their music. You understand what I'm saying? The sisters had Queen Latifah, right? But then, you know, you had little Kim come around and she started getting kind of raunchy. Then it started this era where we had with the women being promiscuous. But now with the men, they're now pushing this homosexual agenda. Y'all understand what I'm saying? They come bring them, bring them out the hood just to push evil on our people. Yeah. Give me 1 Corinthians 15, 33. I'm going to show you why our communities stay like they is. Why we stay shooting each other up. Why we stay shooting drugs inside each other. Right? Why we stay selling drugs to one another. Why we keep impregnating our women and not marrying them? Why abortion cl uh, clinics are surrounded in our areas? Right? Read this. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 15 and verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Read that again. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 15 and verse 33. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. The Bible say, be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. You watch your television, right? You watch your BET all day, and all they're talking about is killing your people, killing your own people, treating your women like whores and prostitutes. That's going to corrupt your mind. So when we in our communities, we treat each other like trash. When, when, when I look at my brothers, I'm supposed to see Christ in them. Read it again. The book, of, the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Listen to our music today. The rap music today. It's, it's no more Tupac. It's no more Biggie. It's no more Tribe Called Quest. Right? It's no more that the white man came and took over the mu music industry and all the music is about is killing your own people. Amen. Amen. That's it. And we sit in the car with our seats lean back, blasting that crap, not knowing it's destroying our mind. Right. It's getting you ready for the next lick. Or getting you in the spirit to go kill your brother that you got beef with. You turn on that song and say, I'm going to kill you, nigga. I'm going to kill you. Hey, and you going to do it. Because you've been listening to the evil music all day long. We got to change our mind. Give me Romans 13 and 11. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Uh -huh. And that, knowing the time that it is high time to... So the Bible say, knowing the time, we got to know what time we're living in. We are living in the last days. If y'all don't know, there's a, 
World War III just coming to the earth. Okay? We had World War I, World War II. World War III is on its way. Right. And guess what? It's not just going to be bombs and missiles and guns and machine guns. You know what it's going to be? Thermal nuclear fire. Y'all remember that movie, The Terminator? You remember when, uh, I forget her name, when she was having a dream and she was by the fence? Sarah Connor. And the, and the bomb blew up and she was hanging on the fence and her, uh, right, and her body started to deteriorate. She turned to a skeleton. That's what's going to happen in the next war to this land. That's why we out here teaching today because the most I want us to come out into the highways and the hedges and compel our people to come in. Read it from the top again. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. And we are here because the Bible says it is high time for our people to awake out of sleep. We've been asleep in sin. We've been asleep here in America. This is not the American dream for the black man. This is not the American dream for the Hispanic man, the native man. This has been our nightmare. That's right. And we live in it. <coughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying, my sisters? This has been our nightmare. Read it from the top again. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Uh -huh. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. God said it is high time to wake out of sleep because the prophecies are coming to pass. Jesus Christ is on his way back, believe it or not. We got to get our minds ready for the Messiah. Because guess what? Rulership is coming to you, black man. You're going to rule the entire earth. Not a block, not a quarter. God is trying to give you the entire planet. Give me Proverbs 84. Because it starts with the men. The men get an order. The women get an order. The children get an order. Our nation get an order. You got that? Proverbs 84. Because we got to wake up. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Every neighborhood we go to, okay, if I go across the, over there to California or somewhere in Nebraska, you come to our communities, they all look the same. Our people have the same spirit on them. That spirit of sleep, we all got it. You got that read. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 8 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Unto you, O oh men, I call, uh -huh. and my voice is to the sons of men. How you doing, my brother? Right. Hey, we are here teaching that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites according to the Bible, meaning we are God's chosen people. That's right. We are God's children. Did you know that, my brother? What's your name, my brother? Ronald. Ronald, good to meet you. My name is Shael. We are God's chosen people. Let me ask you a question. God's chosen people, right? Do God's chosen people supposed to be out here like this? Living good. Huh? We supposed to be living better. I get, I give you something better. We supposed to be in rulership. Right. I believe that. You understand what I'm saying? We don't supposed to be paying no taxes to no white man or voting for no Joe Biden. We supposed to already have our kingdom set up with Jesus Christ, the Black Messiah, ruling over us, and it's coming. But because we fell away from God and forgot our heritage, our laws, now we are in slavery. Now we do everything that the slave master has taught us. You understand, my brother? He has taught us to hate each other. He has taught us to love him. We're supposed to love each other. Read that Proverbs 84. Book of Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Unto you, O oh men, I call. The Bible say unto the men he called. You know? And my voice is to you, the sons of men. Read that part again. Read it again. And my voice is to the sons of men. God's voice is to the sons of men, the black men. When this Bible is read, this is not a white man book. Right. This is the black man's book right. on how he gonna take over the world. That's what our brothers don't know. This book is talking about taking over the planet Earth. Bring it out, out. 
That's what it's talking about. Only we going to be saved. Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all believe everybody can be saved? No, I don't. You don't? Uh-uh. What about you, my sister? I'm talking about black. I'm talking about outside the blacks and the Spanish and Native Americans. Can white folks be saved? Say that again, my sister. She's right. Uh Say that again, my sister. Say it on the mic. I think they sold their souls to the devil. That's right. They did. What about you, my brother? What you think? You think white folks can be saved? I don't. I really don't. And the reason why I don't, because that's why they they, they got so much more than you. Because they were so... My brother, he... he I want to check that one. Huh? No. What about okay? Like, what about what about my sister? What about Chinese people? Can they be saved? I think, I think everyone, everyone, everyone. Everybody's not saved. Saved. Everybody can be saved. It's their choice. Okay, let's let's give me. You got me, Luke. Yes, Listen to this, sister. What's her name, my sister? Pam. Pam. Listen what the Bible say. Now I'm looking at two churches right here, and they ain't never brought these scriptures out. Okay. No. Uh-huh. Never. Trust me. Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Uh-huh. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. You hear what the Bible says? This is New Testament. This is Luke. He said, blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. You know who Israel is? These people you see right here on this sign. This is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are one nation of people, the children of Israel. The same people that Moses led across the Red Sea. That's us. So, read it from the top again. Yes, sir. Verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He said, He has redeemed his people. Not everybody. He said, He redeemed his people. These people you see on the side are his people. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us. And that, and that horn, read it, read it again. Yes, sir. And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David. And he has raised up, raised up that horn of salvation. You know who that horn is? You think it's this guy or this guy? Which, hold on, hold on, I said, which one is the one that was raised up to save the nation of Israel? Him or him? Save the nation. Hello, sister. I'm going to see what she say. Which one was raised up to save the nation of Israel? Huh? These are both God? This God? Bring it out! This God right here? Huh? See? That's why, we, that's, that's why we out here. We got to clear the confusion. We got to clear the cobweb. Don't, don't, don't go nowhere, my brother. Don't go nowhere. Yeah. Verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from our enemies. So the Bible say we're going to be saved from our enemies. Who's our enemies? So they let you know right there, everybody can't be saved because everybody's not. All the other nations are in cahoots to keeping you, me, and everybody on this block destroyed. So who the white man got to be saved from? Who the white man got to be saved from? No, he ain't got to be saved from God. He going to be judged by God. Right. So the Bible only is talking about the children of Israel being saved. Give me Romans 9 and 27. Come on. Y'all ain't never heard the Bible like this in your entire life. You, be, you go to church? Sometimes. You grew up in church? I'm saying, did you grow up in church? You grew up in church? Did y'all ever hear this type of teaching? No. No, because you because you won't hear in the Bible talk. We were just taught religion and traditions. Yes. That's it. You got it? Read. The book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 27. Uh-huh. Isaiah. Verse 26. Verse 26. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, 
Ye are not my people. There shall they be called the children of the living God. Right. In the place where it was said that we are not God's people, right? This is the place, America. Because why? They call us African Americans when we from the tribe of Judah. They call the Hispanics Mexicans when they the tribe of Issachar. Right. So this is the place where it was said that we, we ain't God's people no more. And we are God's people. And we are God's people. Read. Verse 27. Isaiah also concerning Israel. He said Isaiah also. Now Paul, we in the New Testament, this is Romans. Now Paul is going quoting Isaiah. Read. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, uh -huh. a remnant shall be saved. A remnant of the children of Israel going to be saved. Not everybody. Give me Romans 11 and 26. I can't stay too long yet. I'm going to give y'all some more scriptures for you leave. Okay. Couple more. Just stay with me. Read. Okay. The book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 26. Uh -huh. And so shall... As you were. Come on. And so all Israel shall be saved. Read that part again. And so all Israel shall be saved. You hear what the Bible said, my sister? What's your name again? Pam. 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 You hear what the Bible just said? It said, and so all Israel shall be saved. These people you see right here on the sign, Sister Pam. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to be saved. Now, let me ask y'all a question. How many gates is it? to enter into the kingdom of heaven. It's one gate. It's one gate. What about you? It's one gate. Let me ask y'all a question. How many people y'all see on this sign? It's 12. It's 12, right? So let's see what the Bible says. You got that? Read. The book of Revelations, chapter 21 and verse 10. Uh -huh. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. This is John the Revelator, right? We're in the last book of the Bible. He's seeing a vision of the kingdom of heaven. Read. And show me that great city. And, and the, God is showing John that great city, right? The city of Jerusalem, Zion. Read. The holy Jerusalem uh -huh. descending out of heaven from God. So the city is so beautiful, it looked like it dropped from the sky. Okay, read. Having the glory of God and her light like unto a stone most precious. Uh -huh. Even like a jasper stone. It's going to be a beautiful city, right? Listen now, read. Clear as crystal uh -huh. and had a wall great and high. So the kingdom of heaven has a wall that is great and high. Listen now, because y'all said one gate. I'm going to show you that's not true. Read. And had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. The kingdom of heaven has 12 gates, not one. That's what we've been taught in Christianity. That is one big pearly gate. No, the Bible says there's 12 gates. Why? Because the people that you see here on this 12 sign, this, on, on, this, on this sign right here. Read on. And had a wall great and high, uh -huh. and had 12 gates, Read. and the gates 12 angels, that part again. and the, at the gates 12 angels. And at the gates, there are 12 angels to guard the entrance and the exits. Read. And names written thereon. And names written on these gates. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. The names right. on the gates are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Now, let's see. Who's not going to be inside the gates? Jump over to chapter 22. Start at verse uh, 14. The book of Revelation. Chapter 22 and verse 14. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So that's what we are here teaching. The Bible say you are blessed when you do his commandments. Remember Christ said if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. right? Read it from the top again. Verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. If you do the commandments in the faith of Christ, you will have right to the tree of life, to the kingdom. Read. And may enter through the gates. And then you may enter in through those 12 gates. Because you kept the commandments in the faith of Jesus Christ. What color is he? He's black. He's black. That's right. The black Messiah. Read. Right. Into the city. Uh-huh. Read on. Verse 15, for, excuse me, 
for without now the people that's not going to enter into the city it says for without the people that's not that can't enter read for without our dogs our dogs he said for without outside the city are dogs is he talking about bruno he's talking about your rock roller your poodle no he's not talking about that he's talking about the other nations right they can't come into the kingdom with us y'all understand we don't for without our dogs uh -huh. and sorcerers and sorcerers you know what a sorcerer is yo juanita bynums okay all your prophets in the churches is telling you the Lord showed me you're going to get a thousand dollars in your bank account and it be in there. That's a sorcerer. We and whoremongers and whoremongers that, that's talking about men that have sex with a lot of women. You're not going into the kingdom if you're around here sleeping with every woman in the neighborhood. We and murderers and murderers. Because when we pull it up here, somebody said they be shooting out here, right. The Bible say, if you are a murderer, when God returns to this earth, you're not coming into the kingdom with that spirit on you. No murderer is going into the kingdom of heaven. Read on. And idolatry. And idolatry. People that's into idol worship. You know birthdays are a, a form of idolatry. If you celebrate your birthday, you're not going to the kingdom. Because that's self-worship. If you celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Valentine's Day, these are all idolatrous practices. You will not enter into the kingdom. Remember, go back to verse 14. Verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, Three. that they may have right to the tree of life. The way you get into the kingdom is by keeping the commandments. Right. You have to keep God's high holy days. Right? right? Passover. Pentecost, the Sabbath day, the new moons. That's how you enter into the gate when you're practicing those holidays or high holy days. Right. You understand, my sisters? Read on. And go back, go back. Uh, for without. Hold on, sisters. This is this right here. For without are dogs uh -huh. and sorcerers and whoremongers uh -huh. and murderers and idolaters and whosoever. Loveth and maketh a lie. So whoever loveth and maketh a lie, you start getting into the kingdom. Liars won't be in there either. Okay? So if the kingdom of heaven is only for the children of Israel, that's you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's it. That's why we out here. Give me Luke 14, 23. I ain't gonna hold y'all up, but I just want to bring that point out. Y'all got a flyer? No, I need one. Give me a flyer. Give me a flyer. Enjoy y'all. Pray for me. All praise to the most high. We pray y'all repent. Listen, the school is on the back of the flyer. The address and the number is on the back of the flyer. Our school right here in Benson, North Carolina. We try to wake our people up so we can get out of this oppression. Because this is an oppression society. America has oppressed the black man for hundreds of years. Okay? Where you at? Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 14 and verse 23. Uh, and the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. And compel them to come in. The Bible told the prophets to go out into the highways and the hedges. They be going to the streets where your people are in the hood, in the trap. Go out here and teach your people. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.